Let's talk about this ATM. Yes. When you see those pictures of the people's queuing thinking they, they were going to get a thousand euro for nothing, it's obviously not. Yeah. Well, what, I, what, are, what are the implications now for people who went and took the money out yesterday? Well, the implications are, well, first of all, what's the implications for me? I had a moral dilemma last night. I see this break and I've over 100,000 people on Instagram who follow me and I they follow me for money advice. I'm going, is this money advice? Is this not money advice? What do Don't I do? Don't go to your ATM. <laughs> do go to your ATM. Have a chance at it. Maybe you yeah. might get it. Should what? I take the free money off the banker? Um, no, but let's There's no be such really thing clear. as free money. There's no such thing as yeah. free money. So what, what I suspect is going to happen now is if you had €5,000 in your bank account <clears> last night and it, it jumped to €6,000 and you took €500 Euros out, it's just going to jump down by a thousand euro, or jump down by that five hundred euros again now, right? So the money that magically appeared last night in your account is going to disappear. The difference is for people who had two hundred euros in their account yeah, last night, and they night, took out and a thousand went in, and they took out five hundred euros. They're going to find themselves now. They were at two hundred yesterday morning. They've taken five hundred out. They're going to be at minus three hundred now, and they're going to be in an overdraft facility. Mm. And that's what my fear is for those people. They thought and will they were will taking fees be applied then yeah, to that I, because now, of an this overdraft is, situation. This is your your job and your job to make sure that no fees are applied because it's going to be public pressure that will make sure no fees are applied and I'll be active on it as well. They made the mistake, they should make sure they cover it. If people took the money out, whether it was willingly or unknowingly, and everybody took it out unknowingly, didn't they? Yes. So whether it was willingly <laughs> or unknowingly, they took the money out and the banks can't can't be led away with it if they try and apply interest to that now. Yes, because it's their fault at the end of the day. The fault was with their app, was with their services. So what's the next step for Bank of Ireland now? The, the next step is, as I suppose, to make sure that their ATM machines are back up and running again, that their online system is most... Yeah, there, was, there was people who weren't even involved in this who couldn't get access to their own banking last right. night because yeah. of this. So they need to get their systems back up and running. They're going to have to try and test it and make sure... And I'm no tech expert, right? But try and test it to make sure it's not going to happen again this evening at 7 o'clock or whatever time it happened that last night. And then just to get things back and running, then they're going to have to trial through and see who took money out that shouldn't have taken money out. And if there's probably thousands of people who there's actually probably did. thousands of people. Now, yeah. what I would say is banks are quite good at this stuff, about yeah, making sure they they're watching where the money's going, particularly when the money's leaving the bank. They're uh -huh. very good at recognising mm -hmm. that. So what I would say is, is I don't think people are going to get away with this scot-free. I think that they will owe the money back. I hope that there's no interest applied, but again, that's on your shoulders, lads. And Will, sorry, will the bank have to contact all those people to say, or will they just go, well, you're overdrawn and here's the penalties? Well, oh. usually the contact will come in the form as you go into your app and you'll be at minus 300 euros and you'll know. And if you start contacting them, you might, it'll be explained to you what happened. To be really careful though, one of the things I'd be worried about, let's say you were one of the people with 200 euros in your account last night yeah. and you took 500 euros out and you're now at minus 300 and you thought last night it was free money. If you have a direct debit hitting your account today, Oh, yeah. yeah. I don't think that's going to get paid if right. you're in an unauthorised overdraft. Then. It is yeah. a worry. And that's where the fees could start hitting people because typically you pay five or ten euro for what's called a bounced direct debit. So you're due to pay your mobile phone bill today. It doesn't come out because the money isn't there. You're in an un unauthorised overdraft, even though it was their mistake that got you there. But that will hit with fees of maybe five or 10 euro, depending on your current account fee yeah. set up. And that is a worry then yeah. if your direct debits aren't being paid because of that. Yes, and banks have got themselves covered um, with things like that. The terms and conditions of your account would say you have to pay those fees. We might charge you interest on the 300 euros overdraft that you went into because of our mistake, but we're going to charge you the ordinary banking fees that go along with it. So if you took money out last night, just make sure that you're looking at your bank account day today and you're covering anything that's due to come out. Okay. Right. Okay, Good great. advice yes, there for absolutely. anybody who went to the ATM last night.